All right, good morning, everybody. Um, it is 9.54, the 2nd of November. I did that short video about that uh, Priest Lake. It was called Priest Lake. And the name of that church was called Remnant. Remnant Church. And uh, that's why I provided those links. But there's, there's another one. I couldn't find it. There's many of them but it clearly showed the route that he took it was round like he made a u-turn that's exactly what it looked like a u made a t total u-turn and uh then dove head first into that lake but if you watch the video you'll see there's a lot of problems uh, custody problems drug problems all kinds of problems even uh spiritually uh, problems and I told you I had, the other day I had that dream about the elephant with the pink balloon and people around me were taking pills you need happy pills remember it says they were deceived by pharmacia drugs and stuff like that also uh, I want to mention uh, <coughs> because <laughs> I told you guys how I listen to wording in the Bible because I believe it's it's there for a reason <laughs> and when it repeats itself um, you know like when Job when Satan wanted to try Job and he came up and he goes uh, God said well what do you think of my servant Job at first, when Satan came up, he said, where, where comes thou from, you know? He said, I came from the earth, from going to and fro on the earth, to and fro. Okay? Now, remember now, these are spirits. They don't need food. They don't need to eat either. Okay? <clears throat> came to and fro on the earth. And then he said uh, about Job. And then... Uh, he ended up, Job ended up getting tried, as we all are, you guys, because it says in scriptures, blessed are they after they've been tried. And that's why it's in the Bible about Job, how he was tried, to let you know we're also going to be tried by all these things that are in the world. Just like Satan says, do this or do that, take this way. And he said, go ahead, do it. And he let him do it. You know, God doesn't do it, but he lets them do it. Certain things. And uh, this is why it's so important, you guys, that we stay true to our faith and our believing in God because of the Word. But anyhow, um, Satan said he came from going to and fro on the earth. The wording, it's exactly the same. Now, when Noah was on the ark, the same words are used when he took the crow and he released him from the ark. The crow went to and fro until the waters were abated now but the dove wasn't able to do that it had to return okay not only that food eating the crow didn't have to eat anything either uh, it just went to and fro well the dove came back because it couldn't find rest for the sole of its foot came back and then Noah sent it out seven days later and that's when it came back with an olive branch but you see it came back and uh, where the crow did not return and it just went to and fro and you guys I believe yeah everything was wiped out on the earth all the wickedness the evil but the devil you know he's still present he wasn't destroyed like that way just all the other flesh was and that's why people you have to let these things in you have to uh, that's why the Bible warns us. We're warned about, you know, drugs, pharmacia, deceit, being deceived, uh, taking our thoughts captive. Um, a lot of these things, you guys, is just a lot. And a lot of people are not, um, they're not doing that. You know, and that's why this place is going to be destroyed again. That's why I had that dream with the elephant. It looked like a rotating planet. Like it was rotating and it was getting closer and closer and closer but as it was rotating I was I seen a big elephant with a pink balloon at the end of its trunk you know then if some of you guys have already seen that 
video, the one I just loaded, behind this one, um, you'll see where, look at the description box, how it's called the Remnant Church. The Remnant. And what is it that Satan makes war with in 1217? With the remnant of the woman's seed. Okay, same thing. Remnant of the woman's seed. This is all, they're into their witchcraft, sorcery, and that's why it says, you guys, we even have to be careful what comes out of our mouth. Because what comes out of our mouth, as Jesus said, comes from the heart. Okay? And we have a spirit in us. As I told you as I was growing up, I would hear people saying, um, you know, there aren't any good women anymore in this world, man. It's just filled with blah, blah, blah. And then I would hear guys or women say, the same, there ain't any good men, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and I'm going, whoa, you know, this is wicked, this is evil, what I'm hearing people say, you know, the things that come out of their mouth, and it was like they were being cursed, and I'm talking when I was younger, I was hearing this, and uh, it, it was, it's not the spirit of God that I was hearing coming out of their mouths, but wickedness and evil, and uh that's what this is, you guys. Anyhow. Guys, we got to be careful and uh, of everything that we're saying and doing. And uh, when I was witnessing that girl at that church the other day, like I said, she was saying that I was sounding hateful and everything because of the way I sound, the way I talk. I have a deep voice, and I don't do things like tickling the ear. And I say what I mean, and I say it. And uh, she's going, you know, you're saying it with hate. And I said, look, I'm not trying to tickle your ear. I'm just telling you the truth. And, uh, you know, I don't need to see that, Pastor, because I already heard what you said. You know, you've already done this. You know, and uh, I said, that tells me a lot. That he's, you guys aren't even warning anybody. And she's like, oh, you're saying I'm not a child of God? I said, I didn't say that. You said it. You know, but um, when I said, did you do this? She goes, that's none of your business. Well, her whole demeanor changed behind that. And I just told her, I said, you know, I don't need. And she's going, I, I'll, I'll pray that your eyes are open. I said, they are open. And I said, that's why I'm trying to tell you the things that you're doing. You don't even see the times that are coming on you now. What is happening? I said, you guys ain't even warning nobody. You don't see it. It's hidden from you. But you guys, you can't say nothing to these people. There's nothing you can say to them because, uh, like scripture says, the cares, the pleasures, the lust, the love of this life, you know, and they don't even understand, you know, the things that they're putting in their body, they're defiling it. And uh, there's a lot more to it than they know. They've only been doing it since 1844. And what did we do before that? We got along just fine. You know, home remedies or whatever they had. But we got along just fine without doing that. In 1844, they started putting it in the animals. And, if you, and listen, God would not come up with stuff like that. That's that old crow. They went flying to and fro across the whole earth until the waters were abated from it. But that's that crow, you guys. You notice even on the Halloween thing, they had a couple of crows on it. I guarantee you, man, um, these things are still around us. You know, they're around us like that. I just, they can manifest. They can transform. Didn't they say they were giants in those days? Didn't they say that they bred with women in those days? Because they can change. They can change their uh, looks and look just like a man. When I was in Israel, I seen a guy out in the middle of the desert. As I came around the corner, no car, no nothing. It was like he was waiting for me. Because as soon as I turned the corner, our eyes locked. And he was there sifting hand, or sand through his hand looking at me. You know, then some of the the place that I went to, there there was somebody on the other side of the wall yelling, "Shut up, shut up!" You know, when I was doing a video, and when I went in there, there was nobody there. 
And then right after that, there was a couple of little children running around, hollering loudly. But it was me that he came after and said that to. Yeah, it's just food for thought, man. Like I said, when I'm listening to the scriptures, when I hear things that sound the same, you know, like when the crow went to and fro, and when Satan said he came and stood in front of God, and he said, where did he come from? From going to and fro. Same thing as that crow went to and fro until the waters were abated. The crow didn't obviously even need to eat, did it? You know, and it did it for that long of a time. The guys, they could transform themselves, and uh, it's always been here, always been around us. You know, so don't, you know, be deceived. You're checking everything. That's why you're told in the scriptures, test all spirits. God destroyed the whole world because they lit it in. They lit these things in, and it was exceedingly wicked. And that's where we're living right now. It's exceedingly wicked right now. God bless you guys. I love you. It's in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.